All right, so let me share um, the link. Let me see. Let me share the link to the minutes of the meeting so that um, everybody can begin to participate. Okay. All right. So today's um, icebreaker is is kind of interesting. Uh, so just uh, enter your name and then uh, the top three emojis that you love that you usually use without thinking. <laughs> Let me go ahead and fill mine. <laughs> so I'm beginning to see some people's um, emojis. Ah, uh, nice. There's one I'm looking for. <laughs> There's a particular one I'm looking for. I hope I get it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and so um I would like to welcome um everyone and then especially welcome the anyone who is joining us for the first time. Um if you're joining us for the first time, please can you give me a reaction uh, so that we can welcome you properly? <laughs> Amza, hi. Hi. <laughs> you're welcome. Please, can you unmute your mic and um, maybe make a brief introduction? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Hamza. I'm from Kano, Nigeria. I just discovered about English about a week ago. Oh, you have, you are here, Queen. Yeah. We can, we can, we can hardly hear you. Okay, mic check one, two. Am I audible? <laughs> okay, there's a there, there's a lot of echo in the background. Okay, let me move around. Have a mic check one, two. Am I audible? Okay. Yes, better. Thank you. Okay, okay. So uh my name is Hamza and I'm from Kano, Nigeria. Uh, you're welcome. I just discovered about uh, chaos uh, last week and I'm hoping into the Slack channel this week and I am just wandering around uh, attending the community calls, trying to understand the, the ecosystem of the chaos and then 
see what I can contribute. I'm very familiar with open source contribution because I contribute to a lot of open source projects. So uh, my check starts is front end React and in the back end I can work with Python Django. Thank you. You're welcome, Hamza. Um, so I would I I would just like to briefly talk about what chaos is about and um we have different working groups i hope you've been able to like recognize um one of the working groups that you're interested in yes i do okay nice so um for the purpose of recording i'll just um say briefly what chaos is about so um the full meaning of chaos is community health analytics in open soft software it's a linux foundation project that is focused on creating metrics metrics models and software to better understand the health of open source projects and the communities involved um, on a global scale so um this we have uh, different chapters we have the mother body chaos and then we have different chapters of which chaos africa is one and so um at chaos africa we uh have african contributors coming in to um uh, contribute and collaborate um amongst ourselves and also with um the general chaos and then um we have uh different working groups like i said and all of this can be found when you type um newbie in the newcomer um, channel on the on the slack channel so um having said that i i don't know if we have any other newcomer just to say hi to you um so i'm trying to see how i can see can anyone see my screen Yes, I can. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So let's let's move on. If we don't have anyone, uh, let me let me check the chat session. Okay. Hi, Rhoda. Are you new? <laughs> Hello. If you can unmute. Oh, okay, nice. All right. So let's let's move on. So um we had a meeting two weeks ago where we talked about um several issues to be attended to. And um we are supposed to get updates from the design group. Um, I want to even know if Kisley is on the group right now. Kisley, are you there? Or any other person from the design um focus group? Yes, I think Kingsley is around. Please, please, can hi, you give us? Um, hi, Kingsley. Um, can you please give us updates on what we discussed two weeks ago? I'm not sure I was in that call two weeks ago specifically. Oh. So I think okay. I missed that call. But then I I did mention some stuff. Um, I think um Ruth and I spoke, so I told her what was going on, especially on the path of um the GitHub Copilot stuff we were working on. Um, so I think I did mention then that the work has started. And then um, I think by that time, we, we had not really made so much progress, like what we have now. Because okay. for now, we have um, the landing page for the desktop ready. And then um, I think I, I, I jumped on the mobile view because the other guy that was working on this thing wasn't readily available. So uh, on my own part, I would say that, um, except maybe the development team needs any help, like in terms of direction from the design, I feel like the desktop view is ready for that copilot project. And then um, by the end of this week, today is Thursday, so um, I know what I have left for the landing page for mobile this isn't much. I personally worked on it earlier this week. So okay. I think by tomorrow, so I should wrap up the mobile view, which I feel like is just the primary thing we areas we have to focus on. I'm not sure we'll be doing much of the summit form submission and all that. I'm not so sure. Um, 
So do you, would you really need any help? Um, because of um, because the project is time box, right? You, you know, I think it's a little bit late now to try to onboard okay. people. So and we don't really have so much left, right? So um, the help will I'll be needing is still on the event budget project. I think um Elizabeth asked about that yesterday. So, which of course I've mentioned this to the designers. I, I had a call last week. I think we finally agreed on having this bi-weekly call designers. So I think one of our last call was last week. And um which I also emphasize that you know, if you're a designer on the call, it's just about being proactive, right? And looking at the design, all right, areas you feel like you can improve on the design. So I know the challenge is that maybe some of our new designers would rather expect that in 3.0 go and design um, this section or go and do this. We had um, designers in the past, right, that started off with some of the screens and then later on left them complete the design. So, which is kind of like a call for concern. So, my um, standpoint was that if the new guys coming on board can look at the design we have currently, I've actually walked them through and they get to understand what it's about. So, like, see areas you can come in as a designer, as a creative problem solver, and improve on the design, right? So, it's not really about me telling you, oh, this part, I may not see all the part that needs to be optimized, right? Then I can only review what you've done and then see how we can tie things up. So currently, if you're designing the part, we need help with the event budget websites. So the okay. GitHub project is fully taken care of. Yeah. I think that's the much I have to share from you. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Kinsley. So, um, you said that the uh, GitHub Copilot project has been passed on to the development team. So is Catherine in, in, in the uh, call? I'm sorry, I can't see um, anyone on the call, but I would it, like... Okay, in, in, I wouldn't just say, sorry, um, you know, when you thought about passed on, um, I was talking with, I don't even know the guys involved in the development. Well, I know that this particular phase now, development, Right. So I think I spoke with one of the, design, the guy that started all the design, like it'd be cool to have a call with the guys working on the project. Um, I know you're also part of the project. So who are the developers on the project? That's why I'm asking for Catherine. She's the lead for the project. So she will be the one yeah, to Catherine, know. Catherine, um, if I can just interject, Catherine is the lead and I... Yeah help maintain some of the moving parts in uh, getting the developers together. I, I am sure there is development that has started, though I've only gotten um, a review of one pull request as far as um, the GitHub project is concerned. All I can't say is the status and also the progress. I can't tell because I don't know the scope of the whole project i only know what was assigned to me but um i know there is something moving as far as the development part is concerned okay so um again uh i would like to also say like um enoch just said now um the lead is not if the lead is not on the call now I can't say so much about the scope of the project. I'm just part of the collaborators. So if you are a developer on the call, we have the GitHub Copilot Hackathon going on where we are now in the development phase for the, the design, the landing page that the design group just um, finished, which um, Kinsley said now. So um, if you are interested in, in coding or in um, joining the team to, to, to do the development, then please um, signify in the channel. We have this channel called um, GitHub Copilot Hackathon. 
signifying the channel. You can also go to the um to the to the webs to the GitHub uh, repo to find out what issues are still unassigned to anyone and then ask to be assigned. Hinok. Hinok? Yes, yes, yes. Please could you hear. help? Thank you. Please could you help me here? Um, could you help me find the link to the GitHub copilot? Akaton, um, the repo and let me send it to the chat session. Okay. Thank you very no much. Uh, <laughs> that's funny because you are hopeless actually. <laughs> How do we do this? Okay. It's um, just here. It's not okay. so fun. Hi, Adinka. Hi. Hey. Sorry. Yes, uh, please. Uh, who is speaking? It's Chidalu. Yeah. Hi, Chidalu. Hi. I'm listening. Sorry. Okay, so I actually have a question and. I feel like I should have asked this question like from the beginning, 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 before today. So what okay. is the um what's the like co-pilot hackathon about? Because I mean developer, I think I might be interested. Kind of want to understand it. Okay. Um Hinok, will you please um help me explain this? So um the GitHub Copilot Hackathon project is one of the now the pilot studies of GitHub Copilot, uh, but mostly focused on the development. Um, GitHub partnered with All In to create stories and also impact of uh, the Copilot feature and how it helps developers. So um, Chaos Africa was one of the groups that was selected to provide data for that impact. And uh, Chaos Africa provides data through um, carrying out um, like interviews, reviews, but also through using the tool directly. Um, they were some people that um, got onto the project. I don't know how the selection process was because I came in later to help with um, structuring the development project. Um, but um, that those particular people were given um, access to GitHub Copilot and they are using it for the development of this particular project. I'm yet to find out because I was so curious when I asked Catherine how data is being collected to show the impact because everyone is working from their location and you can't and you, and you can't and you can't tell the impact. So um um Catherine told me they figured out how to collect data onto how the copilot um, feature is helping to fasten the process of this development. So um, we came up with a project, which was um, a website and we create, we, we, we are creating the website using um, your favorite code editor, as long as it can be connected to GitHub copilot. And then there will be, um, metrics or uh, data analysis that will be done after this whole project. One thing I'm not sure of is how the developers, one, were selected, and then two, whether the okay. contribution is public, and uh, three, whether they still welcome new contributors to the project. Okay. Those are the three questions I'm not sure about. But I scheduled a call with Catherine. Um, uh, a one-on-one -on -one call, which I think uh, could be one of the things I can raise and ask her because there were some other things we were going to talk about, but um, I can't figure out that part since I don't have um, information about it. So that's what the GitHub Copilot Hackathon is about. Okay. Oh, all right. So then you're not sure if um, if they need more developers, well, that's just what you're saying. So you'd have to confirm first, yeah. yeah okay, I so I can I can because... answer those questions. Mm, okay. okay, okay. Yes, I can answer those questions. So question one is um how were the developers um selected? So um it's open. Catherine reached out to um people in the group in the Chaos Africa um, channel that if you are interested, please um, go to the repo, 
check the issues that you would like to work on. The issues are open. So just ask to be assigned and then you, you will be assigned to um, the issue, to work on the issue. And then as of now, I think some issues are still open. So please Chidalu, um, check on the repo that um, Enoch pasted here okay. and just look through. <clears throat> Okay. So see, another thing you can also do, please, there is a channel called um, GitHub Copilot Hackathon. So you can okay. read through, you would see, um, asset, you have access to the, uh, I think the Figma, access to um, even to the repo and any other information that you think will get you started on understanding what the um, project is all about. All right. Well, Thank I, you. I, I, I think, I think the channels that are connected to the copilot project are private channels and uh, oh. i don't know why the channels were made private and uh, they were created by one was created by Catherine. let me see the other one was created by um oh. i think it was uh, ruth but i don't think you can have access to them if you when I'm not invited. invited. Yeah, let me see. This other one was created by uh, by Ruth. Hi, Enoch. Can I add to that? Okay. Yeah, sure. So I, I think, I think, I think then also Ruth, who is not on the call because she's not feeling fine. I can't, I can't also say what the criteria was for joining those channels, um, but. Good thing um, you have more information about how to contribute to the project than I do. All right, can I, can I add to that? Okay, Hi, Enoch. Go ahead. Hi, Adenka. Hi. All right, great. Um, so like Enoch said, the channels are like made private. Uh, and um, if anyone wants to like contribute really on the development side, she just reached out to Catherine. She gets to make the decision on that. Okay. And the uh, other thing contributors would also want to note is that um, you need to know how to use GitHub Copilot because that's the essence of the, the project. We already had one where people who are not familiar with it were taught during the, during the ChaosCon Africa, right? So, but this particular project needs um, um, contributors who are already familiar with GitHub Copilot to um, to contribute to it. So um, if you are familiar with GitHub Copilot, um, she just reach out to Catherine, and if she needs more hands, you know, in um, in the development process, you are going to be um, invited by her to the group because uh, it's it's closed, like it's private. Okay, thank you, Mary Bersin. Um, I think we can move on to up to get updates from the development group. Enoch, please, can we have you? Yeah. Um. Uh, for those who want to reach out to Catherine, I was trying to find her username here. But if uh, anyone else has it, you can paste it here for anyone would want to reach out to Catherine. <coughs> um, yeah, um, so from the development group, um, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, I still have two major issues to sort out. One, I can't really keep track of um, the Python meetings that happen every Tuesday or Saturday. And I am intending to just attend one to see whether they actually happen. On the previous calls, I was asking whether any person attends those calls and whether they are getting impact um, about those um, calls from Sean. Um, he doesn't seem to, to be available on the platforms. I always communicate with him. But um, as soon as he is, I want to get updates about the Chaos um, Agar project uh, 
as far as Python is concerned, so that I know how people are being impacted there. And then two, on the previous call, I was um, I told people that we made some recordings of uh, I we made some recordings. Sorry, I'm just changing my network here. Hold on, guys. Um, At least MTN, MTN somehow behaves in Uganda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, on the, we 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 made some recordings about the previous calls on the development, um, which are supposed to be two. Up to now, they're not yet uploaded, but I pinged um Elizabeth about that, but she does it once a week. So, um, if anyone wants recordings to our previous calls that are uh, help you navigate around um, around development projects in chaos. Um, I will give you access to those links as soon as they are up. I think um, I think um, it's it's not really a hard thing, but since there are a lot of meetings that happen during the week, I think Elizabeth always wants to do it at once and upload them at once. Um, then three, Last week we were not able to have our DevOps call like we had scheduled, and I committed to make one uh, tomorrow at 3 p.m. West African time. And um, we shall be using the same chaos link for those that will be available. And uh, I hope, and for those who can't, uh, the call will be recorded. Uh, lastly, about the chaos um, development side is um, I was looking for maintainers on the previous two meetings that we had and well I was able to get people that were interested but there was just a little bit of uncoordination between um, the scheduling of the times so that we can go through um, what is expected of the maintainers on the different projects. Why? Because we still have um, open pull requests and issues that need to be attended to from almost like four repositories. And um, they are quite so many that if I sit down to attend to each of them, um, I could spend almost uh, two weeks of just sitting down every day to review code, merge it, and maybe rebase and also my, um, resolve conflicts, which I was looking at um, utilizing uh, maintainers. Um, I thought I could set up like um, a private group of people that want to meet, but then I figured out that maybe um, it would be better to leave it so public and open. And um, I, 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 I think I am going to set it up to Monday so that before next um, the next dev call, which happens every Tuesday, we at least have met with anyone who is um, interested in maintenance. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to set up a call on Monday for anyone who may be interested in maintenance and also record it for record purposes so that um, I can be able to um, send out the recording to anyone who may be interested for now and in the future, but also so that um, we can save time of finding a good time to meet. But after that, anyone who would want to be a maintainer, at least on the next Tuesday dev call, we shall have um, a session where we shall give out um, maintenance um, roles to at least attach people to every repositories, depending on their, depending on their expertise in uh, the different technological tools. Yeah, so apart from that, um, Tuesdays are always for the dev calls. You can check the chaos calendar for those who want to get like um, um, in-depth uh, updates about a particular project or a particular work contribution. And then um, for those who may also want to get started as far as development is concerned, that is the right time and the right day for you to have such information. So yeah, that's up from me. Thank you very much, Enoch. So if you are interested in um, 
maintaining any of the repositories Enoch talk about. Please reach out to Enoch. Um, Precious, are you on the call? Um, Which Precious? Um, Precious Habubaka. Oh, I, I thought so she was. So that she can give us so updates I'm... on um, the Slack bot. So two weeks ago, we talked about um, some of the issues about the Slack bots <laughs> that uh, we need to update some things that have become outdated. And um, Precious uh, was supposed to like organize a group of developers to attend to those issues. Also, some some of us um, signified to uh, to be managers, project managers for that particular um, slab board. So I can't remember those who volunteered. If you're on the call, please, could you say something? Okay. Okay, concerning the slab board, uh, Emma Muzo speaking. I Hi. was okay. okay. I asked for an issue and I was assigned. So Precious reviewed it and she asked for a change and I did. So she's meant to review it again. So that's where I currently am. So the PR is actually open. She's here to review it. That's all I need. Mm, is it on just one of the issues or all of the issues? I didn't join the meeting initially. I went to the repo and I saw the issue, an issue that like I was interested in. So I requested for that one. Oh, as a developer, you mean? Yes. No, oh, project. okay, 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 okay. So I was thinking that you're standing in as a project manager. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so, so what I know so far, about the chaos slack bot we had a meeting immediately after um the weekly call the bi-weekly call and um, trying to identify the issues according to the um things that roots raised the other time so we worked on um creating issues so that anyone can actually go to the repo and then um, ask to be assigned to those issues um, personally, I was able to um, to carry out one to uh, solve one of the problems, and um, I think what what I worked <coughs> on was um, uh, broken links. Yes, I was able to fix some broken links on the Slack bot, but um, there are some features that some other people. Uh, I don't know if Desmond OBC is on the call they signified that they were going to work on some of the um, features that would raised. So I think they are still working on that. So, so far. Um, also, if you're a developer on the call, you're interested um, to work on the Slack bot, you can always um, check the repo out. Let me, let me see if we can quickly, um, Put that on the call. Um, sorry, let me quickly. I don't want to. I don't want to ask. <laughs> I don't want to ask enough to do that for me again. All right. So okay. So uh, let me just. Can Can you see um the repo? Anyone? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. So as at now, we have. Let me see. We have about, I think, two issues that have not been assigned to anyone. As a bot should provide a list of recommended channels to users and then home session of the chaos bot. So if you are interested, you can um, just <clears throat> um, ask to be assigned and then Precious would um, do that for you. All right, um, let's see, is there any other thing we need to talk about? Yes. So, um, Hi, does anybody want to say something? Yeah, I just I was I was going to suggest maybe you could add the link to the to the bot. Yes, I'm um, sorry, oh the repo rather. Yeah, say. yeah, yeah. That was that was the plan. So I I actually forgot. <laughs> I wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. All 
Okay. So the chat session, you mean? Huh? Oh, yes, and most likely on the the meeting note. Okay. So easy for people to ask. Yeah. What did you say? Um, I'm just saying so it's easy for people to assess. Okay, no problem. I'm doing that. Um, let me just... Uh, so, uh, um, this is, um, 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 all right. Uh, okay, so do we have any questions before we move on to the last um, item on the agenda? Okay. All right, so um, I'm assuming that everyone on the call knows that we have a working group called the DHI working group which is um which stands for diversity equity and um, inclusion and so there is um a project we do at um, this working group called um badging where um events event badging where uh, people who want to have um, open source events can actually apply for um badge <clears throat> for the high badge um from our repo and um, we usually have people called badgers come to review this um e event application and then um based on the metrics and um the scores given by the reviewers uh the events can be badged as um I, correct me if i'm wrong enoch um gold um, silver and diamond. Am, am I correct? You know. Yeah. Um. There is um gold, silver, bronze. Bronze. Uh, okay. Platinum. Okay. So gold, silver, and bronze. Not gold, diamond. silver, bronze. Oh no, there are three gold, silver, bronze. Oh. Okay. I was mixing them up with project budget. <laughs> All right. So um, so we are um, always looking for. Event badges. Sorry, there's. I think there's there's passing and pending. There's passing and pending. Yeah, really, those are not badges, but, but yeah. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, sometimes when the score is really low, we give them that and you know suggest some things they could improve yeah, yeah, on yeah, their yeah, events, yeah, and they can come back and then we could review again. Sure, so if, right. if, it, if you are interested in becoming a badge a badging reviewer um please uh the form is here please sign up we call it a high badger sign up and then um, you'll be added by elizabeth and then you'll hear from her so that's the link you know could we have any other thing we want to talk about merry blessing anything um, not from me. Okay, somebody Someone raised their saying, hand. No. Okay. Okay. Someone is just saying hi. Can't be uh, sure about who Oye, that is. Oye, Oye, Oye raised hand. Account is used by a lot of people. <laughs> All right, please go ahead. Oh, Oye. Sorry, I have a question. I had Enoch mentioned something about a DevOps meeting. What happens on the DevOps meeting? Well, that's a one-time meeting that is uh, that this overview was supposed to happen last week, but didn't happen at uh, 3 p.m. West African time, but will happen tomorrow, 3 p.m. West African time. 3 p.m. Okay, let me just... Okay, so like, um, I would like to join, but like, I'd like to get an idea of what to expect, because I'm not sure what is going oh, to happen. Oh, okay. Um, uh, so the main ish intention of the call is... um. We are going to talk about uh, what happens in the development world of uh, the DevOps in Chaos Africa or Chaos. So like uh, people who may want to contribute now or in future, so they get an overview of how we how we manage our servers, uh, 
what the maintenance looks like um, day to day in chaos of the servers and also um, looking at the shell script of uh, look, look, looking at the sh some of the shell script projects that we have, which so far is one, but also looking at some of the shell script we use to manage um, those servers. So yeah, it's just a call about a kind of maintenance around DevOps. So uh, we make those calls, but majorly focusing on chaos so that uh, we help new contributors who may want to participate in the development side of chaos to have a feel of uh, what happens around and they could get started quickly. Okay, good. Um, interested in joining, where should we look out for the invitation? Pardon, I didn't quite get that last sentence. The invite, where, where, where will we send? Oh yeah, we are going to use the same meeting link. Um, uh, we're going to use the same meeting link. Well, Elizabeth, if you could help me and um, and um, update that in the chaos calendar because I usually used to do it from uh, I used to do it from my calendar and then just just use the Zoom link since I have access to it. But um, it's just a one-time thing that happened. That's going to happen only tomorrow. I don't know what West African time is in Elizabeth's time zone, but um, I think she can figure it out and put it at the right uh, time so that it can reflect in all of your calendars. Okay. But would it also yeah. help if we can put it on the channel? Chaos of Kachuma. Yeah. Sure. Um, I think when Elizabeth does that, uh, and uh, we can have the link to share. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Are you good? Thanks, As thanks a um, question has been answered. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Mary Blessing, please go ahead. Oh yeah. I mean, you asked if anyone has anything else to add. I just wanted yes. to mention that if anyone is interested in the community management focus group, um, you could please um, join the Chaos Africa CM channel on the Chaos Workspace and um, we'll be happy to have you on board because we're looking to revive that group and uh, we already started having some conversations around that. Thanks. Okay, you know who to reach out to. Rhoda, please go ahead. Um, okay, so I was just going to sorry, give update on the um the bot issue. So Pressure said she has reached out to Ruth already, and Ruth wants to review everything that involves the new content before she can start assigning to um other contributors, and she has tagged that to the issue, so she's just waiting to confirm from her. So since she isn't on the meeting and she can't join the meeting, I just wanted to relay that. Okay. You mean for the Slack bot, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So who would like to be um, the next facilitator? Um, in the next two weeks, we'll be having another meeting. So who is volunteering to facilitate for us? Put your hand, who wants to say something? Uh, I'm not getting any response. So. <laughs> okay. Um, let me do it, but you shall give me guidelines when the time comes. Thank you for our Who is speaking? Who is speaking, please? Shidali. I'm sorry. Shidali. Shidali. Okay, okay, please, please. <laughs> you get it. You get it. Let me just write your name. So nice. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Don't worry, you get the guidelines. And um, it's not so difficult. <laughs> Thank you. There is, I don't think there is a one-fit guideline. Just have fun. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> is anybody saying something? Uh, this is how you're speaking. You didn't add my name to the attendee. Hello? Mic check one, two. Can you hear me? Yes, we speaking, please. Hamza. Okay, you said something. Yeah, I can see uh, attendee and my name is not there. Oh, you're yeah, supposed to add your name. Oh, 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 sorry. Thank you. Let me do that. So somebody already sent um, the link to the uh, chat session. Just click on it. You'll see a Google doc. A Google yeah. doc. Yeah, just click yeah. on it and add your name. And then include the emojis you like best. Okay, okay. Let me do that now. All right. Thank so thank you everyone for coming. Thank you for participating. Uh, oh, looking forward. What happened to Busayo's emojis? I'm also okay. wondering. I'm looking at the screen and I'm not <laughs> doing my emojis. She she she's using a bigger phone. Leave her alone. We don't <laughs> see such. <laughs> my blessing, please. Oh, I, I, I'm wondering, you know. Let me let me redo it again. <laughs> Wahala. Hey, May blessing. We can't find your own emojis. I I I I why well, that's true. Um, <laughs> I'm on my laptop. <laughs> so I wasn't sure how to do that. Well, hold on. I'll try something. Oh, of course. Yeah. Found it. Bye. Bye, everyone. Okay, so thank you, everyone. See you in two weeks' time. And then um, I think on the Slack channel. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.